The concept of mind, body, spirit is very much a part of our culture these days. But when it comes to healing, does science really have any idea of the role that spirit plays? We pose that question to our expert on such matters, Dr. Deepak Chopra. In scientific terms, spirit is the potential inside you that gives rise to both the observer and the observed and the whole process of observation. So, you know, spirit is what I'm observing, spirit is what I'm uh, processing the observation through, which is my mind, and spirit is the observer that is doing the observing. So, in other words, spirit is everything. It's uh, the source of thought, it's the process of thinking, it's the objects of our perception. That's a real spiritual experience. And when you have that spiritual experience, then, you know, in modern terms, we say it's a peak experience. You feel intensely happy, or you feel ecstatic, or you feel that you uh, know what you need to know in that moment. In the ancient wisdom traditions of India, uh, the sign that you're in spirit uh, or you're in touch with your spirit is there are three things. Love, you feel connected to everything. So if you're connected to everything, you feel the intoxication of love. Second is knowingness. You feel that you know what you need to know at the moment you need to know it. And the third is happiness, bliss. So when you're feeling l the intoxication of love, when you have intuition and creativity, because that's part of your knowingness or insight, or when you feel happy, then you're close to your spirit. Now it turns out that when you have those experiences in consciousness and you're getting in touch with your spirit, then your body simultaneously secretes serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, and opiates. Serotonin and dopamine are we call them the happy hormones, you know, because when people are depressed, you give them serotonin uptake inhibitors. Opiates are the hormones that feel you, make you feel intoxicated, high, as when you sometimes feel when you're running or exercising, or even sexual experiences. And then oxytocin is the hormone which causes a secretion of milk in a mother when she's feeding her baby, or the expulsion of the uterus. But now they've shown that oxytocin actually might be secreted during sexual pleasure, particularly during orgasm. So here's what's happening when you're getting in touch with your spirit. You're secreting opiates, which are immunomodulators. They modulate your immune system. You see oxytocin, which is the pleasure hormone, dopamine and serotonin, the happy hormone. And uh, while all this is happening, you're also regulating your immune system. So an internally induced state of euphoria, which is spiritual exaltation, heals the body simultaneously. Hmm, the happy hormone. That sounds very healing. Something else we know that's very healing is our connection to nature. So that's why we invite you now to sit back, relax, and join us for a healing moment. That's our healing quest for today. I'm Judy Brooks. And I'm Roy Walkenhorst. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll look forward to seeing you next time, right here on Healing Quest.